Hey guys, welcome back to the Letterhead Studios and some more Detroit Become Human. I've already finished the game twice, technically, but I am going to guarantee you that this time there will be very little happy endings because I'm going to be playing Marcus Divergent. So the only things that are going to be different is I'm going to uh, I'm going to start with Night of the Soul. And that's where Marcus has decided that he's been pacifist for so long, he's had enough. I haven't seen that route, so it's going to still be blind, but I am actively choosing to do something different. Welcome home, Marcus. Man, it's already going to get so sad. Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. I'm not gonna stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Now all I see is anger. What you call hatred is just anger in the face of injustice. You're the one that taught me that history is sided by the winners. That it's gonna side with me, Carl, because I intend to win. I'm not gonna let them humiliate us anymore. Do you hear me? Never again. Carl. See, I told you it was already going to get sad. There are no happy endings here. There are none. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Oh boy. North is gonna be totally okay with this. Simon might be alright, but Josh isn't. Josh is gonna hate this decision. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Our cause is too important. I can't take any risks. Dang. And Connor just stands there and takes it. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. Of course, no goes fight. up. Josh goes down. And we will succeed or die. Oh, that's it. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 oh, boy. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Yes, there is! These are not living beings. What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Ah, Connor. Connor, Mark One, died at Woodward Church. The deviant leader oh. has started a revolution. It's leading an army to take Detroit by force. You have to find it, Connor. Find it and destroy it with your own hands. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Ooh, public opinion went down. Ah, 
out for revenge. I don't know. Is Machine Connor capable of wanting revenge, or is this just a job to him? Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Dang. Step away from the ledge. I don't want this to happen. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time, I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him and this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Killing you is not part of my mission. to have met you, Hank. I hope one day you can get over what happened to your son. And now the unhappiness continues. Kind of surprising how they just kidnap me, but they shoot everyone else. Whatever happens, we stick together, right? Oh boy. We're together, nothing can hurt us. Hands on your heads! Jeez. Line up with the others, right now. Okay. So like, like this? I give the orders, I you follow them. Got it? I, I was just doing what you told me to do. Real scum of the earth, you guys. You know that? You know that? You know that? You know that? So, way, way, way back when, Chinese people had a belief. Please, Gara, don't. We have to. That if you looked in a man's eyes whenever you killed him, he would haunt you forever. Or something to that extent. Put you know what I mean. In the, dumpster. the victims would be not facing the ones who were executing them. And this, I guess, is some sort of way of dehumanizing them. Like, making absolute sure that they do not look anything remotely like a human being. More like a strange alienoid sort of thing, so that they don't feel bad about killing them or whatever. Come on, this way. And even though it is on. a little uncomfortable to look at, it's still, still pretty wrong. There he goes. Oh boy! You, take this one of a dump. No, no, I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. You're inside the concentration camp. How on earth did you think you were going to escape? I'm surprised there are no guards around me at the moment. Oh my word. Oh no, 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 no. I would not do that. I would not abandon the young girl. Alice? I want to get out of here. I was with a little girl. Please, look out. We, we're together. She needs me. Alice! Let me out. 
What's behind these doors? It's Ralph. Got about it. It's Kara. Of course, Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad. Really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph. But Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Calm down, Ralph. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. Ralph killed a few humans, Do but it was in self-defense. Yes, it was in self-defense. Self-defense. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Okay? Stay calm. Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. Carol! My boy! Never see you again. Alice. Where's Alice? We got separated. Alice is alone. In here. We have to find her. You, you, and you, over this way. And you. Come on, get a move on. I remember you. He saved us from the master's house. Only for you to end up trapped here. So you were captured too? The humans found us. They said we were monsters. Hmm. They killed most of us. Put the others in trucks and brought us here. Why if they have gathered us all together like this? What are they going to do? Listen. Jerry. Kara. So they captured you too. He has such a wonderful smile. He came to take all the Jerry's. He separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? I hope Do so. You know where Alice is. Alice. The little one? You know, y yes. Oh, they're like a hive we mind. Think we saw her. Okay. Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. two. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! No, that stress level's up too high. It needs to go down. Oh boy! Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Attack! Oh boy! Where's this? This is nuts. Cover me! Come on. Come on, Josh. Let's not die. You won't save me this time, Marcus. Dang! The blood we spill will be on our hands. Cover me! Oh no. Dang. Uh, Simon. Simon, 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 Simon. Oh, God. No, Simon. Simon. No. I wanted to save Simon. I, I couldn't figure out how to get cover. Oh. Should have. I should have shot that guy. Cancel order. I want you to charge. Guys, cover fire. Cover fire. Stand by. Uh, yeah. On my signal. I don't know. For Jericho. 
Hey, look at that. Didn't do half bad. Didn't do half bad. Alice! Kara! No, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared. It's alright, Alice. There's no reason to be scared. Oh, I'm such a liar. Leave me all alone, Kara. I can't. I can't. Are we going to die? Not. They're just going to make sure we function correctly, that's all. That's such a lie. I can help you, Carl. I can attract the guard's attention. Is there anyone else? Do I have any other options? Except for what? Back in line, I said. Clara! I was so scared. I know. Right. Come on! Move it! No, Jerry, don't do it. There were two options and I only had Jerry! It took me a while to find you, Marcus. Oh, dang. Gotta control my man, Connor. The revolution dies here. Oh no. Oh, dang. Oh no. Ralph doesn't want to die, but he doesn't want the little girl to die either. Ralph can help you to escape. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. It's our escape route. There's another option, and it drives me nuts that I can't find this other option. I know that there's another option, a third option. I just don't know what it is. On. No, Kara! No! Kara! A happy family but because the concentration camps didn't get destroyed no one else was safe anyway so like I don't know at least they died more valiantly it doesn't matter anymore my mission is to neutralize the leader of the deviants and I always accomplish my mission we fought for our dream and we lost but you can't hold my people down forever 
One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? And now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? Yes, my Does not end it. Does not end well. well. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hard Plaza camp is now under control. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, their intelligence we took is limited by our own. Risks with the very future of our civilization. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now. That sucks. Accomplishes his mission and he still gets the boot. So that means Connor down one, Marcus down one, and Kara is alright. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See y'all later. Hope to see you very soon. Till next time, stay tuned.